Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we're going to see how you actually go about changing the host name of a Red Hat Linux 6 server and keep it persistent across reboots and uh, also you can do that without rebooting the server. So let's see how it goes. You run a hostname command, it displays you the current hostname for the server and this one happens to be Red Hat hyphen v6 hyphen 4 hyphen mark 1. Now I intend to change this hostname to Red Hat hyphen v6 hyphen 4 hyphen mark 3. So running the hostname command followed by the new hostname will change the hostname of the server but this is something that's done temporarily and it's not going to be persistent across reboots. Now to, in order to make this persistent across reboots you need to make an amendments in a couple of files and let's go about making them. First is the first one is the EDC hosts where because in case you're not using the DNS, then the resolution from name to IP is going to be taking place via EDC host files. And let's specify here Mac 3. And the second one is EDC sysconfig network file. So let's edit that as well. EDC sysconfig slash network. And uh, let's cement that. Mac 3. And in case you intend to keep it persistent, so like uh, you can do a service network restart, restart, and uh, this should come up momentarily. Let's see, and it's up perfect. So uh, this is something that that has been uh, that will keep the host name persistent across reboots and. Uh, like, uh, let's try to reboot the server and see whether it actually says persistent or no. So let's trigger a reboot and open up a command prompt window and let's run a ping hyphen t 192.168.191.129. That's the IP for this server. And uh, let's time elapse this as it's, it may take a few minutes for it to come up. And uh, we have started receiving the reply for a ping query and the server is back up. So let's restart this body session. Let's log into the box. And you see that I have set up my uh, command prompt to be uh, bearing the host name of my server and it has changed indeed. So let's verify it using the host name command. And this looks good. So let's send a ping to red hat hyphen v6 hyphen 4. This replies well. And let's do an NS lookup as well. Just to set things right. And yes, it does. So like 129 is the other IP address because this system got two interfaces configured with the uh, 192.168.2.58 being the primary one. Uh, so that's why it's returning this and not 129, but that's okay. As far as it's resolving to the query and the hostname stays persistent across reboot, that uh, actually serves us, uh, serves our purpose. So I hope this has been informative for you and thank you so much for viewing. I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel for uh, any technical video updates which I keep on posting. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you after. Bye.